Hi, welcome back to Penthouse Collections. In this episode today, we are bringing you to discover this hidden gem in District 13. Years ago, District 13 was an estate that not many talk about and nothing much happening. Today, it's a completely different story. We all know about the massive transformation that Potong Pase and Matheson went through, not forgetting the developing Bidadari estate that will just add on to the vibrancy. Take a look at the map and you realise that District 13 has an excellent geographic location. It's right in the middle of CBD and the east, well connected via CTE, PIE and KPE. If you commute to this area frequently, this project that we are recommending will definitely excite you. Amazon is a relatively new freehold development consisting of 45 units TOP in 2015. This four-bedroom penthouse that we are showcasing today spans over 1,600 square feet spreading across two levels. It has a squarish and efficient layout. Here is why we think Amazon is an excellent good buy. Let's look at the neighbouring projects around us with only 99 years leasehold. 500 meters away from us, Park Colonial 4 bedroom is going for 1,900 PSF at 2.68 million. 800 meters away, the Woodley Residences 4 bedroom is going for 2,200 PSF at 2.92 million. Whereas our penthouse Amazon is not only freehold and has a lower PSF of 1,515 and also a lower quantum of 2.48 million for a 4 bedder, making it a much value buy. Okay, here we are at the unit. Welcome to Amazon Penthouse. This is actually the second biggest penthouse of the whole project. Now, before we begin, let's take a look at the floor plan to understand the unit better. At the floor plan over here, this unit is a 1,636 square feet. On the lower level, we have two bedrooms and an enclosed kitchen, a bathroom, balcony, and on the second level, we have two bedrooms, which Jason will be showing you later. Let us start off with the kitchen side. This kitchen can be enclosed with this glass sliding door here. It's a small kitchen but it's fully equipped with cooker, food and hot and oven and proper window for ventilation as well. And the reason for it being small is because actually you realise that right outside here we have our washer and dryer concealed under here and this allocated space to put in your big fridge. This takes the space out of the kitchen making a smaller kitchen easier for you to clean up. And checking out of this living room space and dining space over here, you will realise that you have at least a proper six-seater dining. And the living space is really huge. The distance away from the wall to the other wall for your TV console is 4.18. So it's very hard nowadays to find such a good living space. And in terms of facing, we're actually facing towards to the greenery as you can see here. It's pretty much unblocked and this is actually south facing, which means you don't get any morning or afternoon sun. Now let's check out the bedroom. For the lower level bedroom, we have the smallest one here, which you can actually convert it to be a study room or you can also use it if you have a helper to be a helper's room. And for the other bedroom, it's actually of very decent size here. Currently, it's fitted with a king size bed and you can see that it still has sufficient space for you to put in two bedside table. We also have a much higher ceiling height of 3.1 meter and that is after the fourth ceiling. We also have our little own balcony here which is the same facing as the living room which is facing towards to the south side. Alright guys, I'll continue to show you the rest of the house. Right now, this is the staircase landing on level 2. So we have a very nice big window that allows the natural light to come in. So this door will separate level 1 from level 2. Uh, this is the foyer. Now, um, for the fourth bedroom, this is actually converted from a roof terrace. So what the owner did was they cover up and put in windows. Now this converted bedroom is very decent size. You can put in a queen size bed. And then on the other side, you are still able to put in two study desks and a very nice uh, long panel of windows uh, over here. So moving on, we actually have an L-shaped storage room that you can see from the floor plan. And what's interesting is that it has another door that let you access to the level 6 attic with a jacuzzi outside. 
So these two bedrooms, they are going to share the common bathroom over here. Now for this master bedroom, it can fit a king size bed easily. This is the wardrobe that's provided originally by the developer. One of the major changes that the owner did was, apart from the original sliding door by the developer, they actually add in another panel just to keep the volume down as this is facing the main road. Now let me show you. Okay guys, this is a virtual rendering that we did for you to help you visualize. What we did was we made the fourth bedroom along with the storage room to become a master bedroom on its own and also to have this uh, attached toilet uh, by the side. So please have a look. Transport and amenities wise, we are about 500 meters to Woodley MRT, close proximity to Next Mega Mall and the upcoming the Woodley Mall. Facilities in the development, we have a good sized pool, gym and children's playground. Our Maison is also within 1 km to Mary Stella, St. Gabriel's and Cedar Primary School. Alright guys, we have come to the end of this beautiful home tour video. If this is something that you are looking for, please give us a call and arrange for a viewing. For penthouse owners out there are looking to sell your penthouse, do contact us and check out our website and follow us on our YouTube page. Penthouse Collections, signing off.